Hey guys, it's Lee Marie with Nokomis Home Fragrance and I am so excited to be partnering with Dream Vessels today. I will be making my beautiful holiday candles using the lovely Evoca Vessel from Dream Vessels. If you're not familiar with Dream Vessels, they're an amazing company that offers some of the most beautiful candle vessels available out there, including our gorgeous Evoca Vessel. So before we get started, I really want to show you this beautiful vessel. The Evoca Vessel from Dream Vessels comes in a wide range of colors, but for my holiday collection, I have chosen the beautiful red. I have chosen the gold color. I have chosen rose gold. And I have chosen the silver. Now, as you can see, not only are these vessels absolutely beautiful, but if you look at the detail, they have this design that allows light to go through the entire vessel. So when it's lit, it actually glows in your room. So this is what I mean when I say that they absolutely glow so beautifully in your room. You can see the glow coming through the vessel and they're absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so first things first, let's wick our Evoca vessels. Now, what I love about this vessel so much is that it is super simple to wick. And what I mean by that is, I don't know if you can see, but the center of this is actually pretty small. So being able to position your wick accurately in the center is super simple. Um, for this wick, I have tested, of course, and the wick that I have chosen for my fragrances is a wooden wick. It is half an inch wide, so it's a 0.5. It does have a booster running down the middle, and the booster is between a two or a three, depending on the fragrance. Um, for these fragrances, I chose a booster number three. So this is a crackling booster three, and the size is 0.5. Uh, so if you're looking to do wooden wicks as well, that's the size that I chose. Again, I tested with my fragrances, and it works the best. So like I mentioned earlier, this is a very easy vessel to wick. You put your wick clip on, then you grab your stickers. Now I just use kind of these generic stickers that I got on Amazon and they actually work really well. So I don't think you need to spend a lot of money on wick clips or wick stickers. Um, so we're just putting that on. I'm gonna find the center and like I said, the center is super simple to find. And there you go, perfectly wicked. So let's talk wax. My favorite wax to use is coconut soy, but I like any of the coconut waxes, whether it's coconut soy, cocoa 83, or coconut apricot, which is of course what Dream Vessel sells. Um, but those to me are the best, in my opinion, are the best uh, waxes. I think they're just a superior product. Smooth tops, they're a single pour. Um, you don't have to worry about sinkholes. This is, you heat it up, you mix it hot, you pour it hot. Um, like I said, it's super user friendly. It is a beautiful, bright white color. Um, it also finishes this color. So you get this beautiful, smooth um, top on your candles. And that's the reason I love it. You don't get frosting. Um, it has great glass adhesion. So overall, I think it's a really, really amazing wax to use. Like I said, coconut soy, coconut apricot, or cocoa 83. Um, but I do want to know, what wax do you use? Are you currently using a different wax that isn't a coconut wax? If so, comment down below and let me know what kind of wax you're using. Okay, so remember when I said that coconut soy gives you beautiful, smooth, bright white tops? Look at that. That is a gorgeous gorgeous candle. mentioned in other videos, I am a big believer in blending your own fragrances. So my holiday fragrances are of course, you know, blend of different fragrances put together to make something new and unique. Um, and so I put them in these 32 ounce bottles. 
um, and I label them with the name of the fragrance that I'm gonna have for the holidays. So this fragrance is called The Great Outdoors. Well, this one, it smells very, very Christmassy, like a Christmas tree lot, or it's kind of that classic Christmas tree smell. This is my setup for when I pour. I have three Digiboils. Um, these are awesome. They hold about 40 pounds of wax. Um, I never fill them that much. I fill them only to about 30, but that's just me. What's really nice is you can control the temperature. And so I have mine set at 194, so it will not go past 194. Um, the reason I do that is again, I use coconut soy wax. It likes to be hot. You know, I melt it to 194. I pour my fragrance in. I start stirring. As I stir, it drops down between 180 and 190, which is the perfect temperature to pour this particular wax. Here I have my pouring pitcher and it's sitting on top of a um, scale. So that's how I keep track of how much wax I'm pouring in. Then while it's on the scale, I'm gonna measure my fragrance and then I'm gonna start stirring and then walk over to my table and start pouring. else I do is I always clean out my pitcher in between pours with alcohol um, so I just spray it down with alcohol really really well and then I have this trash can over here and I actually just like pour the excess out then I let it sit and air out and then I'm ready for my next fragrance all right so then when I'm all finished pouring my candles I trim the wicks and clean them off. This is how it looks. Look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely gorgeous. So then we have a couple more steps. We're going to place the warning sticker with a UPC. Um, it has a UPC because these are going to a retailer. Um, so I put the UPCs directly on the warning label. I didn't want to do a lid or anything like that with these. They're so pretty. I didn't want to take away from that. So what I did instead is I did, see if you can see that. Uh, this fragrance is called The Great Outdoors. And so I had dust covers made and the dust covers have all the information. What uh, the name of the candle, the name of my company, where it was poured, all of that good stuff, 12 ounces, um, everything is on there. And then that way these just sit really, really pretty on a shelf, ready for somebody to buy them. I hope you found today's video helpful. Uh, thanks so much for coming along with me while I make my holiday candles using the gorgeous Ivaca Vessel from Dream Vessels. Um, like I said, they're having a sale, so go on their website. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.